Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. My name is Becky, if you're new, this is Acre Homestead and today we're gonna go through my freezers. Excuse the noise, we have to go through my laundry room in order to get to my garage where my freezers are. And I thought it'd be fun to do a full, stay inside, a full freezer tour. I've got two deep freezes, I have one there and one here. And then I have a second fridge freezer inside that we'll go through as well because this is early spring and I haven't started harvesting anything enough to really put in the freezers. My freezers are starting to get eaten down pretty well. I thought it'd be good to film a freezer tour video now so that in the fall when everything is preserved and in these freezers and they're full again, we could do a side by side and you can kind of see the difference between what my freezers look like now and what my freezers, hopefully they'll be more full after the harvest season. This freezer here was one my husband and I purchased about five years ago. We bought it because I started buying beef in bulk. I started with buying a quarter of a cow and over the years now I buy half a cow and pork in bulk. So we needed this one deep freezer and that deep freezer came with the property, which was pretty exciting. When we bought this house a year and a half ago, they asked if we wanted that freezer and I said yes, and I'm really glad I did because when 2020 hit, if I wanted to buy a deep freeze, I wouldn't have been able to. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This is the meat freezer mostly, and we'll go through this one first. I bought half a cow back in July of 2020, and I did make a video on that so you could kind of see what it looks like to buy half a cow. I'll link that above. But now that it's May, if you wanna see what two people, it's just my husband and I, how fast we go through it you'll kind of be able to see a difference so let's get right into it all right on these top ones I have a couple things um, this is some beef liver I'm actually gonna feed this to my chickens I have a few different organ meats in here when you buy half a cow they ask if you want the organ meat and I always say I do because I can feed it to my chickens or I can feed it to my dogs this is just some pomegranate juice when I make kombucha I like to flavor it with pomegranate juice and we can't go through the full thing before it goes bad so I usually freeze it. Got a couple of cream cheeses, pecans. This is how I used to preserve pizza sauce before um, last year I canned it for the first time. I will never do this method again because I never come out here to think of defying these. I need to make sure I go through these, but I have canned pizza sauce inside and I really prefer that method because you save yourself a step of having to thaw it out. This is some cheese making supplies. And then I have chucker and quail. My husband went hunting. I'm gonna show you guys a video on how to make that. I've never actually cooked game bird before, but I had a couple patients give me some recipes on how to cook it. They said chucker is really good. Chucker is like a little game bird that you go hunting for. And so I'm gonna go ahead and make that and I wanna make it with you guys. So stay tuned for that video. So we'll get these out of the way. So when I buy my beef, what I like to do is try to keep my cuts together. So here is one box of just ground beef. These packages are a pound and a half. I had two boxes of these, so we've already gone through one box. And then right along here, I just have some chicken, which I should probably move that to my other freezer because I have a lot of chicken in the other freezer. Coming over here, I have my roasts. These are chuck roasts, and I have about six of those left. And then there's some random roasts here. This is a prime rib roast. There's a sirloin. There's some, here's some bones. These are soup bones, but I actually really like to give these to my dogs. We don't eat a lot of beef soup. My husband doesn't love soup. So um, those actually are better treats for my dogs. Coming over here. So let me move this out of the way. Down here are some more roasts and soup bones. I've got some organ meat. There is a cow tongue. Um, I've never eaten cow tongue before and I am not sure how I feel about it, but you know, you pay for it. So I wanna ask for everything. I'll probably end up giving most of this to the chickens. Under there, there's just a bunch more beef liver and then more soup bones. I have a brisket there. I usually ask my mom to smoke that for my birthday. And then there's another prime rib there. So they cut the prime rib in half so that I could make it two different times. And this box is just steaks. So I like to have my steaks cut in an inch and a half. And I like to have them packaged in two steaks per package. Over here, I have some pork and some lamb. We're getting really low on pork. I've bought a whole hog twice. It took me those two times to really figure out how I want my hog butchered and packaged. I just put a deposit last week on a whole hog. I'm gonna bring you along during that whole process of how that looks. I'm not actually gonna get that hog until fall, so it'll be a while. Next time when I pick up that hog, when I give the instructions on how I want it processed, I really only want the pork loin, the ribs, the bacon, and then the rest of it I'm gonna have made into breakfast sausage, Italian sausage. Then I will want a couple pork butts so that I can smoke it. 
but for the most part a bunch of the cuts that I got last time I just don't need because we don't eat them that often so when you buy your meat from local farmers they're gonna give you a ton of options of how you want it cut and processed and that can be a little bit overwhelming so one tip is just make sure you look at what you buy in the grocery store and then ask them to process it into those cuts because if you don't eat a certain thing then you really don't want your butcher to butcher that for you because you're not going to use it and I've definitely found that out for myself I don't know why it took me to go through two hogs before I realized that now I realize it and I know what to do going forward and then we do have that lamb in that freezer and I really just don't like lamb that much my husband doesn't mind it so I have been trying to go through it but I will never probably buy a lamb again it's a little too gamey for me I know a lot of people like it but it's just not my favorite all right into the second deep freeze this is kind of more of my veggie freeze and milk freezer and then my chicken freezer so over here i have six gallons of milk i got this milk on sale it was two dollars off and that's one way i like to save money when i find things on sale i like to buy a bunch of them i actually bought 11 and we are down to six underneath the milk there's a bag of tomatoes from last year that i still need to figure out what to do with I've got some orange juice. I bought way more orange juice than I meant to when I did my last Walmart pickup, so there's some extra orange juice. A bag of strawberries. Hopefully we'll be getting some of our own strawberries this year. This I mostly just use for smoothies and baked oatmeal. I have three gallon bags of celery from the garden last year. That's why I'm not growing very much celery this year because I still have a lot left over. These are potatoes. Those are O'Brien potatoes. They have onions and peppers and olive oil and spices on them. And I don't know if I didn't do it right, but they are not my favorite. They're kind of watery and weird, and so I won't ever do that again. We will eat them, but not my favorite. And then some hamburger buns. Anytime I buy like hamburger buns or bread, I always just throw them in the freezer because we don't go through it very fast. I have some rhubarb here. This is from last year, so I need to make some jam or something with this. And then I have one gallon bag of sliced peppers. There's a farmer up north for me about 25 minutes that I used to be part of their CSA, Community Supported Agriculture. Basically, you become a member of their farm and they grow organic produce. I'm not a member of their CSA anymore because I have my garden outside, but there's some things that I just haven't been able to grow very much of myself yet. And so I still like to partner or support local farmers when I can. So every August I buy tons of peppers from him a year's worth of peppers because they're organic peppers are one of the most heavily sprayed crops and so i like to buy organic peppers but i cannot afford the price of organic peppers in the winter they're like two dollars each and i buy my organic peppers from him for a dollar a pound which you can't beat that price anywhere so i dice them and slice them and i put them in freezer bags and you can't eat them fresh obviously because they get weird but cooking them in things they're totally fine and that's my last bag and i think i I, think I did like 10 gallon freezer bags and I'm not going to be having any peppers coming out of my garden for a couple months so I have to make that last. I have some just frozen raviolis from Costco, a bag of frozen cherry tomatoes. I love to put those in quiche. You just plop them in the quiche hole frozen and then I have um, a bag of some frozen broccoli and peas. This is some tallow. I'm going to be making some soap this weekend out of this. When you buy beef from a local rancher, you get to keep the fat. And I rendered that down this summer and I'm gonna make soap out of it. I haven't made soap in years, but I'm gonna make some soap out of that this weekend, I think. Those two pans there are some scalloped potatoes that I made and I'm actually gonna pull those out and I think we're gonna have one of those for dinner. And here is a box of bacon. I bought this in bulk from a food distributor and I really like this bacon. Underneath the bacon, I have where I should keep my chicken. I should get that chicken from the other freezer. Um, this is the chicken that I buy in bulk from the distributor as well. I love this chicken. Those are thighs and breast, and then just some more Costco chicken. And that's some more tallow. And then right over here, I just have two bags of cauliflower rice from Costco. Underneath the chicken box, I have three turkeys. I need to do something with those turkeys. They're taking up a ton of space. Those were free turkeys that I got. You know, you spend $100, you get a free turkey at Thanksgiving. And then one of them my mom gave me. I wanna try canning that. I've never canned meat before. And I think that would be a good experiment to get that out of my freezer, make room in my freezer for the garden produce, and then also try canning meat and having that on my pantry shelf. Is that the last one? Yeah. Look at all, that one's a new in the box. Look at this, my mom just came by one of her friends was getting rid of all her canning jars and she just dropped off all these canning jars that she gave to me for free. So what a blessing. Let me flip you around and show you. So this box isn't even used. The lids and rings are still new and there's some quart jars in here, tons of pints, half pints, 
There's jelly jars. This is incredible. So she want so she wants me to count them up for her. And then it looks like she gave me something. And then more pints, more pints, and pints. When is this newspaper from? April 10, 2005. So I think these jars have been in these boxes for a while. But look at that. Half pints, quarts, quarts, mostly half pints, which is great. What an absolute blessing that someone would be willing to gift these to me. I did gift her a couple things that I would canned and I gave her some fresh eggs, which most people appreciate fresh eggs. So I hope she knows that I'm really excited to have this and this will be used and loved. So let's go inside and look at our last freezer. In here where my pantry is, I've got an extra freezer and this is where I've decided to keep most of my freezer meals. In the door here, I have two things of almond milk a couple different things of bread. I should probably put the hamburger buns in here. If you watch that freezer cooking video, um, this is actually all the freezer meals I have left. I have two pot pies. We haven't eaten any of the pot pies yet. I have a lasagna. This is actually a freezer meal I made before that. This is an enchiladas. I have my three meatloafs. We haven't eaten any of those yet. I think we're gonna have one of these for dinner with those scallop potatoes. I have some frozen zucchini. These frozen zucchinis did get freezer burned, so these are gonna go to the chickens. My chickens love eating these as snacks. Moving down, we have stroganoff and some teriyaki chicken. One of my goals this year is to preserve actually a ton of produce, not just for me and my husband, but actually for my chickens. Because in the winter, they're not getting a bunch of fresh produce because it's winter. <laughs> so um, I've been really enjoying giving them any of the freezer burnt vegetables that I've had, and they really love zucchini. I have to say that I've been loving having the freezer meals in my freezer again. I used to do it all the time, but it had been a long time. But, but now with making YouTube videos and stuff, I just don't have time every night to cook dinner. And I'm tired after work. And I wanna be out in the garden because it is so beautiful out there right now. And I wanna take advantage of every moment I can outside. So having those freezer meals has been a game changer for me. What I do on Sunday night is I usually take two things out of the freezer and I let them thaw. And then we eat those two things for the week for dinner. And it's been fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed my freezer tour. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys wanna see more of what I have going on around here, go ahead and subscribe. I'm actually gonna head out to the garden right now and plant some tomatoes. It's supposed to be like 83 today. It's absolutely stunning. If you wanna watch a couple of more of my videos, I'll leave some right here that you can go watch now. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.